How often will diverticulitis go into an abscess? Typically about five to 10% of cases of diverticulitis will evolve into something more complicated like an abscess. How big does the abscess get to be? It can be small and it can be just within the wall of the colon itself and surrounded by some of that fatty tissue that's around the colon. Bigger abscesses, we're talking maybe two inches, three inches are a far less common, but certainly much more dangerous. It, the danger would be because of? Potentially seeding the bloodstream with bacteria, yeah. creating problems like sepsis. So will the uh, abscess, is it very, very painful? Is it, uh, can you tell right away if fever spike up? How do you know if somebody, how do you suspect an abscess? Almost everyone will have a high fever with an abscess because there's such a significant bacterial burden in a small space. Uh, most people will have a significantly higher level of abdominal pain than you would expect from a milder case of diverticulosis. And for the larger abscesses, you may be uh, able to palpate it, feel it when you push on their wow. belly. And uh, in that case, then of course, that's uh, an indication for a, an immediate CT. So if you get a CT and it says you got an abscess, what's the treatment then? So the treatment for abscess development in diverticulitis is a little bit different than just garden variety diverticulitis because abscesses in general, regardless of what they originate from, tend not to be treated as well by oral antibiotics. Oral absorption of antibiotics and then entrance into the bloodstream typically doesn't achieve the concentrations you need to destroy all of the bacteria in an abscess cavity. So most abscesses are going to either require IV antibiotics. Therefore hospitalization? Hospitalization usually. with IV antibiotics. And then in many cases also drainage using a needle through the skin directly into the abscess cavity in order to leave a drain that pulls all of that pus outside. So you can s stick a needle in and leave a drain so it can guide the material outside. Do you ever just drain it and pull the needle out? Sometimes for small abscesses that's possible. The radiologists usually do this for us and when they do, if they can actually see the cavity evacuate completely and close, then they can usually uh, go without the drain. But most abscesses are going to require temporary drainage and typically as that drain exits an opening on the abdominal wall, which is very small, it'll be hooked up to some sort of suction bulb to continue to put negative pressure on that abscess cavity and help empty it completely.